hi friends welcome back to the channel i hope each and every one of you guys are doing well um if you are new here my name is nadisha i'm so glad you're here with us today i haven't had one of these messages in a while but here we are today this message is going to be in regards to your kingdom marriage your kingdom spouse um this is actually going to be a very specific um, message for those who who's who have found themselves in a counterfeited relationship or um you know your person is in a counterfeited relationship okay so those two categories but anybody else who's waiting for their kingdom marriage and you know god has spoken to you and said a thing you are welcome to stay okay this is very um very important information you know because one thing the enemy does is right before the real thing right before god gives you your person he always always wants to send the counterfeit okay he always likes to send out those counterfeits so you could get distracted and you get a relationship with them um and knowing that that's not the route that you need to go okay um i have so much to say about kind of fit relationships but um let's stick let's stick to the message let's stick to the message all right so i heard this song actually i think it's the first time i i actually heard this song and i knew i knew this was a message okay i knew it was a message it's called in the dark okay um it's by purple disco machine and sophie and the giants yeah never heard of them <laughs> i just i've never it's crazy um it says i got lost in the wilderness i thought i was surely falling apart the pain you caused cut so deep truly was a work of art i don't care what they say i'm gonna do it anyway it's the only thing i see always staring back at me I've been left in the dark, standing cold in the night. Memories of your taste, I've been holding on tight. Falling apart, I'm living a lie. All this time, I've been loving a liar. Pull me in with your words, so sweet, every time I ignore the sign. Redemption's mine on the day I leave. Falling for you was my only crime. Okay. Um, and then there's this other part that says, am I going under? Should my heart surrender? Am I going under? Should my heart surrender? Right? Yeah. It's so funny because we've talked about so much wilderness journey, you know, not, not even in regards to kingdom marriage, but just, just in, in regards to life and the Israelites and the wilderness and how we felt like we've been going through the wilderness and all of that. Right? So yeah, you best believe that, you know, your person, if they they found themselves in a kind of fit relationship, they've been going through the wilderness, okay? They've been, they've been, they've been going through the wilderness, and this is definitely a prodigal, for sure. You know, they've ran away from um, their calling, basically. They've ran away from what God has for them, you know, and they've just found themselves in this wilderness and they they just they're lost you know if you think about the story of the prodigal like he he left his father's house and he just got lost you know he he just lost his way you know directionally and just um emotionally spiritually um in all the areas he was lost and your person male or female is just lost wherever they are they're lost okay it says, I thought I was surely falling apart. So basically, whoever they're in this relationship with, this could be current right now, or they were in a relationship with somebody and they're out. You know, I don't know. But whoever they were in a relationship with caused them a lot of pain, okay? And as crazy as this is... Um, it's supposed to happen okay this pain that the counterfeit causes is gonna be great it's gonna be great okay <laughs> i can't i can't really explain how this pain god can use he because he turns beauty from ashes but he will use this pain but you best believe 
that if they were in their if they were in a counterfeit relationship or, or they're in a counterfeit relationship right now they went through a lot of hurt and a lot of pain okay they went through a lot it's a it's, de it's definitely a toxic relationship it's very narcissistic it's definitely a narcissistic relationship right and um it says i've been left in the dark standing cold in the night you know falling apart and i'm living a lie all of this time i've been loving a liar okay this is definitely a toxic relationship they've been living a lie and they know it i've been saying this forever they've been living a lie they know they're living a lie okay and a lot of times people stay in these relationships because of what it looks like to the public okay they they front it they fake it okay but they're living a lie they know okay they know they are miserable they know they're miserable and they know that they've been loving somebody who's been lying to them you know it says pull me in with your words so sweet every time i ignore the sign redemption's mine on the day i leave falling for you was my only crime okay this kind of fit person lured your person in they lured them in okay Right before the real deal, the enemy loves to send these counterfeits, okay? And they lure, they have to lure your person in with, with whatever they believe that they want, okay? And they, they ignore all the signs. They ignored all the warning signs. And um, yeah, they fell for it, right? And it's just, this is just, this song is definitely about a toxic relationship, you know? and um yeah but i love how it says redemption is mine on the day i leave and it's true when they leave that relationship they're going to be so redeemed they're going to be saved from their sin from their arrow okay they will be so um redeemed they will be so delivered these relationships are demonic they're evil. You stay in these relationships longer than you need to. You will lose yourself. You will lose yourself. Anytime you stay in these toxic relationships longer than you need to, you, you will completely lose yourself. And that's what your person is going through right now. If they're still in this relationship, they're losing themselves. They feel like they're falling apart. They feel restless. They feel clueless. They feel confused. Okay? Trauma bond is a real thing. When people are trauma bonded, it's like they're like a drug addict. They know it's unhealthy, but they can't seem to escape. They know it's toxic, but they can't seem to escape. It's like a drugs. Okay? So your person is definitely... Um, trauma bonded to this relationship and if this is you who's watching this and you're in these relationships you know what i'm talking about okay trauma bond is a real thing you're bonded with this person not because of love but because of trauma all right unhealthy it creates a lot of depression a lot of anxiety a lot of confusion a lot of mental toll okay it takes it does such a damage on your emotional health so many people end up in like mental hospitals after these relationships okay it's so toxic and they might they found themselves in a in these in a relationship like this and it's draining them and even though it's draining them they don't seem to know how to escape they need to go to god and they need to be obedient they need to be obedient to what god it's let me tell you something it's the disobedience if they're in these relationships and God has told them to get out and they're not willing to get out, they will continue to suffer. They will continue to go down. I'm telling you, like, <laughs> they will continue to go down. It's like destruction. It's like destruction. Don't you... They, I guess when a lot of times when people find themselves in these relationships, they're trying to figure out how how am I gonna make it? How am I gonna make it if I leave this relationship? How how am I gonna make it? How am I gonna make it financially? How am I gonna make it emotionally? Trust in the Lord. Trust in God. If God is telling you to get out of this relationship, 
you know he has a plan for you and a lot of times god doesn't always give you the full step of what you need to do your one step is to just leave no relationship should drain you so much where you're depressed and you're anxious okay but yeah even yeah there's a part that says am i going under should my heart surrender it is literally destruction and what people don't understand is <laughs> this is like really for anybody you know this is for anybody like we can't just be in any kind of relationship god is not going to bless no mess god is not going to bless no mess You know, not because you're in a relationship with someone me means that God needs to bless it. No, if it's not mess, if it wasn't ordained by him, why why should God bless it? First of all, God can tell you to move to Texas. You're asking God for certain things and you're like, Lord, I want this, that, and the other. And he says, okay, I give good gifts to my kids. I want my kids to be happy and all this. And he says, move to Texas. And you decide to move to Wyoming? He don't have to bless nothing. He don't have to bless you because you've been disobedient. He might give you enough for you to survive, but he doesn't have to he doesn't have to give you an avalanche or or the blessing that you're seeking or the success that you've been seeking, the success that he wants to give to you because you've not you're not in his will. A lot of people are out of the will of God and they want the blessing and God is like, "Uh ah, -uh, no. You're not in my will. You're not in my will. You're not in my perfect will. You're not even in my will. You're not even on the path." You're not on the path. You're not on any path. Well, you're on a path to destruction. You know, so. <sighs> they will lose themselves. They will lose everything in these relationships. They will lose everything. And it's almost like this is the final warning. It's like, this is the final warning. This is your final warning. This is your wake up call. It's almost like that's what it is. Like you're going to go under. You will lose everything if you remain in these relationships. Okay, so. Um, yeah. These relationships are toxic and it's draining. You know, let me tell you something. Counterfeit relationships aren't bad they're not bad at all it there's actually a purpose behind it there's a purpose behind it but they come with expiration date counterfeit relationship comes with expiration dates whenever you go over that expiration date things start things are not well okay things are not well a lot of times people go go away and they decide I'm going to do my own thing and God will allow it. God, it's not his will. God, it's not his will, but God will allow it because he knows he can make beauty from ashes. Now, once you go past the expiration date, okay, once he's like, okay, be done, be done. And you, you're like, you stay longer than you need to. Destruction. There's this, there's, there's this thing that somebody was saying, um, Oh, ooh, when you make seasonal people, lifetime people. Mm. When you make seasonal people, lifetime people, you, you don't have no rest. You are in turmoil, and it's true. There's some people who come into your life for a season. These cannot be lifetime people. All right? So, yes. So, like I said, this, you know, this message is for people who are in counterfeit relationship they know this is not their god ordained spouse that they're with they know that this is not the will of god they know you know who you know who you are okay this could be somebody this could be you who is watching this could be your person the person you know because you may be the standard okay this could you you may know somebody who this message is going to resonate with okay so if you know somebody, uh, don't hesitate to share this message with them. Okay, this is super, super important. All right. Um, but yeah, it's like, this is like a warning. You don't get out of these relationships, there will be judgment. Okay, remember when Jonah ran away from God? Jonah ran away from the manifested presence of the Holy Spirit. 
but you can you can run away from the manifested presence but you cannot run away from god's omnipresence okay and what happened he got thrown overboard and he got swallowed up by a whale okay the whale was his savior not a whale the fish okay the fish was his savior all right and then he went off and did his thing but yeah you anytime you run and you're outside of the will of god life is not going to be easy for you all right so um yeah so yeah in the dark this is the message um for those who it is for it is this a very specific message so i i totally get it it's not going to be for everybody um but my encouragement if you are standing if you're waiting for um, a marriage be careful of counterfeits like i said god can use counterfeits but be careful okay um the enemy will send these counterfeits your way you know especially be careful let me tell you something guys god is all about um these healthy marriages that he's ordaining so one way you can tell when the enemy wants to send these counterfeits your way is you just have a lot of people approaching you all at once when it when it's not like that you know it's just like you're like what is happening here <laughs> you know like all of a sudden in one week one month you just have like a lot of people trying to approach you and you're like well you haven't had people approach you in a while okay remember the battle is spiritual okay the battle is spiritual the enemy likes to send these counterfeits your way when god is ready to get you you know in union with your person okay so be careful be mindful of these things anybody who tries to approach you and all that please bring them to the lord please bring them to the lord it's very very important all right guys i hope this message bless you um brought some clarity to you and the situation um clearly this message is not going to be for everybody um but it will resonate with some all right thank you guys so much for watching liking and subscribing to the channel talk soon